what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's video i have a dumbbell consists of two very small size balls a and b of masses small m and capital m respectively uh, at the ends of a light rod of length l the dumbbell is held motionless on a horizontal floor making an angle theta with the floor uh, find range of coefficient of friction mu between the floor and the ball so that the ball starts sliding immediately after the dumbbell is released <coughs> okay so let us draw the free body diagram of the structure so this one is capital m and the massless rod small m okay um, just after releasing the ball a its speed is zero forces acting on both the masses here it will be mg here it will be normal this due to this light rod there is there will be a pushing force or a hinge kind of force in this direction let that force be t this angle is theta here the force is due to gravity mg and opposite in the opposite direction there will be this t okay <clears throat> and friction is also acting here which is mu times n fine so this one is also theta as you can see that this mass in the limiting condition will remain at rest that is the net force on ball b will be zero so the total upward force that is n and the total downward force that is t sin theta will plus mg so this one is our first equation force towards right and force towards left will also be same that is mu times n will be equal to t cos theta if you stand on ball b and observe ball a we, we will see that this ball will try to perform a circular motion okay so net force towards the center so with respect to b while we are observing ball A, net force towards the center will be mg cos 90 minus theta, that is mg sin theta minus t equals mv square by L and it is 0. So mg sin theta equals t this is our third equation. This one was second one. We need to find out mu. <coughs> so as you can see, that mu times n and n is t sin theta so using the value of t here so it will be mg sin square theta plus mg okay sorry this one will be capital m capital mg okay and uh, equals again mg sin theta cos theta so mu becomes mg sin theta cos theta divided by g m sin square theta plus capital M so this g gets cancelled out dividing and multiplying with 2 so we have m sin 2 theta divided by 2 m sin square theta plus capital M so basically the value of mu must be less than this value okay then only after releasing the block uh, sorry after releasing the ball a the ball b will start to slide on the floor okay i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative thank you